Okay, here we are back in Pokemon Scarlet. We're gonna go crash the uh, Dark Crew base. I am vastly stronger. I'm probably like double their level. I didn't know the order you're supposed to fight them in, since I saw fire in the advertisements, I figured she was supposed to be first, and turns out Dark was actually supposed to be the first one you take on. So, he's about to have a very bad day once I get over there. Let's see... That is Rookity, I think. In case you're wondering, the EV event is in effect right now. I'm actually recording it a week after I never updated my game to get rid of it or anything, so... Actually, I think we should probably go up there and check on... Gibby Ghoul or whatever its name is. Just no good. No good at all. Well, let's see what you're packing. Adam the Courier. Send out Qvent. Unfortunately for him, my first one out is Armor Rouge. Well... Yeah. Helps we carry more than one, just saying. See, I told you. Anyway, this is the first video I have on the new patch, which is 1.10. Or 1.1.0 or something like that. Main thing is, they were more interested in trying to resolve some of the bugs, ha ha, than actually doing anything with the performance issues. So I'm very skeptical that they actually got much of anything, but they're probably going to screw up however they're doing it, and I'm expecting more bugs to result. It's a little pessimistic, but if they botch the game this bad on its release, like, anything goes. Is that the Dark Crew right there? Ah. Supposed to be a pretty likely chance... What's that? We're making a small detour. Okay, this one I'm actually a little interested in. So I'm good to le uh, leave Armor Rouge out. I forgot what exactly they gave this line that made them a little bit better, but there's something... they got a buff in this generation. In case you're wondering, this is the Dark Fairy line from Sword and Shield Mogram or something like that, Mogram. It's something that combos off Prankster is all I know. By the way, since it's a grass type, this is not going to end well for it. Morgrim, that's his name. Ooh, bulky sucker. That's awkward. That's a fairy move. On account of my fire type, it's not gonna matter. Uh, we'll stick with Lava Plume, I guess. So I don't think this is a prankster because it did not activate when you try to use Nasty Blot. Terra Shards, a Lumberry. Nice haul. Morgan prefers dirty tactics like ambushing because it doesn't have confidence in its brawn. 
Into the box you go. So I th believe that's the middle evolution with Impotent being the first. One thing I want to do before I go out is have Roll here rough these guys up. Okay, I wasn't sure if I had a phalanx item, but I wanted to make sure I had something just so I could identify, hey, this is a missing component for something I want later on down the line. And it's a little awkward to do the backwards jump up when you are trying to do the high jumps. Because I think that's a spike up there. Charge beam. Ominous black stake. Let's pull it out. So I do need to rearrange the team before I jump down there. You, you, and you. Uh, okay. Hey, Dr. Clavel. As I told you, the name's Clive. Please don't forget it. Now, let's pick up our conversation where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a sticky situation and to find other reasons behind Team Star's odd behavior. Above all, I want to know why the students at Team Star have stopped coming to school. And just like Cassie P, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a, st a dialogue with Team Star. I think I'm starting to understand things more cl clearly. I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, hero. Yeah, you keep doing whatever it is you do. I'd say bring the sandwiches, but you'd screw that up. Keep in mind, these are going to be level 20 tops. <laughs> whoa, whoa, hold it, you! Up ahead's the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. You may know us as the second squad. Yep, and we don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, amigo, we're going to have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. Just going on a hunch here, but are you that hero kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe. Maybe I am, he says. Cool as a cucumber. Honestly, now always the best policy, you know. You know what? Doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me and Battle Kid. What'll it be? I'll take you on. Sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Team Star Grunt. Sent out Murkrow. That's a little annoying. Luckily, I still have Rock Tomb. Otherwise, it would resist the fighting due to its flying type and ultimately be neutral. Why did such a sassy kid have to be so strong? And that's with double money right there. So she was broke. Chump. How the heck could I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up for me. Uh, finish up here for me, would you, bud? 
Thanks, hasta la vista. Hasta la vista? Yoni threw a straw too, buddy? She's new to the team, you know? Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. Well, I'm gonna go in the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. By the way, best of luck to you, amigo. Hasta la vista. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. Now, hold up in that base is Team Star's dark crew, the second squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star, and he produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy, even our declaration of war won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts and finish you off himself. Now he's trying to outthink strategic types like him, bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep on defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the second squad off the map. So I think I would have had an easier time throughout most of the game had I taken these guys on first, because Mankey being a fighting type may have been able to fare a little bit better here than how bad the Team Star fire crew went. <laughs> then again, I also didn't have Palafin back then. Seems the folks had Operation Starfool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang. Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you got the skills to beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Break a leg! Infernape murder. Those are the guys with four times fighting weakness, too. Should be enough. One more. You can stop down for an eight and for annihilate. He is way above our level. We gotta get the boss. Giacomo, boss of Team Star's Dark Crew. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. Hero, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the end of the, at the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe by the way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick Requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. Challenge by Jack of Team Star. So remember, four times weakness. You don't really think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. It's a ghost type. Time to up the tempo. The show ain't over yet. Oh no. If 
I had my hidden ability, that would have been lights out for him right then and there. Wicked Torque. How was that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, Party Crasher. Guess that's that. About a year and a half ago. Guess that's that. What's up, Jack? What did something happen? Big Boss just wanted my take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. A few plans? Like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make up some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice, you'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? No thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know, you forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone, they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. Cannot help but concur. Male students' hair must stray no further than one point inches below the nape, and so forth. Your rules for vexation made manifest. My point exactly, so you all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Jack, and you look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck up student council press isn't who you are anymore, man. A code run by ja the Jack and I'm looking at, now I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it. I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? I'll give you this choice TM2. You're in a fair and square. Foul play. So you turn the target strength against it. The higher the attack stat, the more damage. So this is how the party ends. Let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer shops at the academy? Like what moves you should use and stuff? No. Okay, you like it at the academy? Having fun? No. I bailed the first chance I got. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, are you Giacomo? Whoa, ho! Wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style it up for you? I'm just after a quick word, would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something sure annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. Seems all you and Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up with your current activities, so why don't you break up the team and start attending class at the Academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss on all Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team, we call him the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we all like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers kept pressing us to call it quits, and then we'd get party crashers like you two. Maybe the, b b maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you. Is the sky blue? Let me put it in words you A-cats at the Academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. Okay, there it goes. It's <laughs> getting a little worried it froze on me. Hero, it's me. Giacomo's star badge is now yours, then. I see. With its boss out of the picture, the second squad is pretty much done for. Now, Giacomo, too. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. Celebration Starfall, you've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. Seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the Mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Who is this Big Boss? Is it you? Who knows, they control the five squad bosses from the shadows, that's all anyone can say. If we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. 
So that's the big boss never stops their own base and keeps their identity hidden. I take it they're not one for the spotlight. Once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. Now by your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Yeah, he wasn't really worth that much. Have your Pokémon learn strong moves so that they continue to be of use to the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. Hey there, hero. That, uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Yeah, you were on the other end of it, weren't ya? I wasn't talking to you. So that mastermind you were talking about, Cass P has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who's caused all kinds of misery at the Academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. You'll lose your treasure? Uh, no, I just... That's right, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Alright, I'll be off then. Oh, and Hero, don't lose to those guys. Special attack. Okay, that was the notification of the TMs. I think there's one other TM somewhere around here, so that's why I want to come through the place after the team has been taken down. Shard. I don't know, since this was meant to be the first one, maybe it doesn't have anything. Let's peek up here real quick. This might just be the exit to the area. Nope, this is what we're looking for. Encore! Anyway, the next target's gonna be the Psychic Gym, so we'll have Annihilate just cut through that. Like, you may know as a trend building up where it's pretty much like the entire gym versus Annihilate. Didn't really plan it out this way, it's just being a fighting ghost is pretty nasty. And we're going to abuse it to the full extent they'll allow. Check the space while we got all the boss away. If you want to challenge us to a star barrage, go ahead and ring the bell at the gate. So you can do the star barrage all over again. I don't know what you need to do in order to actually face the crew boss. If you actually have to beat all of them before you can do the rematches, and I don't know what they are like after the said rematch. Like, are they going to be any better, or are they just going to waste more of my time? So let's whip out the map. That's Cas Karafa that's right there. A little time to go. We have time. Let's go rain on his parade. Huh. I don't know what's going to turn into. Let's find out. type. So I'm going for this for the stab. That's going to break its hat. I 
I'll make one attempt at catching it, then I'm gonna just knock it out and be on my way. Critical catch. If it loses its shovel, it will stick something else like a branch inside to make it do until it finds another shovel. So I'm just curious, I'm not really familiar with this Pokémon, I'm assuming it was like a Gen 6 one or whichever one Sun and Moon was. It's got Giga Drain, which is not too bad. Basically it's a stab move. Water compaction boosts your defense when you get hit by water stuff. I just want to see who's in this one. I don't recognize this Pokemon. Is that Frostmoth? Or Frost Larva? Or whatever it is? Okay, that's enough of fancy parts. Here, this is Professor Sada, Great Tusk is Pokemon that came from the Great Crater of Paldea. I ask you to do whatever's needed to subdue it for me with all due caution, of course. It's been a while since I've seen you, but this time I've brought flowers. Break break. Exploring my dark type, eh? It's ground type. Gray's tusk began eating something. Hero, looks like you found yourself a Titan. Wait, that's the Quaking Earth Titan? Is that thing even a Pokemon? Must be trying to get pumped up with that little snack. Time to show the thing what you and me can do, Hero. Dolphin urine over your head. Get out of there. I'm gonna use the school villain I caught nearby to seize a real spicy victory. This is gonna burn. I'm hoping it's gonna use either a fighting move or a normal move, so Hulk, get in there. There's 
even a sandstorm. I don't know about you guys, but this looks like a job for... Him. Pelvin underwent a heroic transformation. Good night, Scoville. Sadly, I kind of need a better water move with the tail here. What well, really sucks is I don't have a priority move anymore. No, oh, my leftovers! that too. Big payout that not all my guys get. <laughs> Nice going, little buddy. Oh, what even was that thing, though? I kind of feel like maybe I've seen it before somewhere. Anyway, I bet if we head inside here, we'll find more of that herba misca I was eating. Let's give this place a once over before that th before that thing decides to come back. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Found it. Here's our little herb. Found the sour herba mystica. The shape, the sheen, it looks like it'll taste horrible, which means it's gotta be good for you. Now, then let's see, what does this book have to say? Okay, Sour Herba Mystica is chock full of nutrients and is great for boosting your overall health. It says here it works wonders whether you're tired physically or mentally. Perks you right up. No time to waste, let's get some food going. Sorry for the wait. Here's a super healthy sandwich that'll perk you right up once you eat it. Plus, the token of friendship, here's another Titan badge. Gaze upon it in awe as you eat. So I, that's ground type, unfortunately. I'd rather fight a ground type gym than a fighting one. <laughs> oh well. I'll share. Even though by now there should be like four sandwiches. Come on, my boss, Steve. Food's up. Would you look at that? It seems like someone's got a proper appetite now. Wow. 
ride and can glide now. Seems like that fellow has also regained its original strength. Still, it doesn't look like it's anywhere close to returning to its battle form. Seems healthy enough physically. Maybe it's got some kind of mental block that's preventing it from returning to its true form. What do you mean? I've read about it in books before. A mental scar like psychological trauma, you know? I think it's what you call it. Maybe it had a terrifying experience in battle, so now it's scared to battle at all. Well, don't worry. I'm sure that both you, that brute and my boss thief will make a full recovery eventually. So how do you feel, my boss thief? Now, how's that urban mist going to work in? No pressure. Not like it's fair to expect every kind of urban mist could have some huge effect, right? Yeah, it's not like the effect has to be immediate, either. Hey, it's okay, don't worry. Here and I are going to make sure you're right as rain. We got one more herb to go, and I bet it's the best of them all. It's... it's just gotta be. Alright, hero. Next up, our little herb hunt should be the last. We can't lose steam until we're done. Let's keep up our momentum. Here we go. Hello, hero. This is Sada. I detect that Karate has regained more of its original power. After it jumped into the air, you should try pressing the B button again. It should glide now. Press the B button once more, you'll stop gliding and start falling. You must continue helping Karate to recover. So I got more business to do in the desert. Have we fought this person already? Apparently we have. So yeah, I am going to put the break in the video here. When we pick up next time, we will... We're making our way towards the Psychic Gym, so I'll see you there. I'm the Hero of Light, thanks for watching, and goodbye.